Now we're going to do a quick walkthrough of how to create a basic transaction automation script with Process Runner. I will be playing the role of a designer user of Process Runner, as only designer users are able to create automation scripts, while run-only users execute the scripts which have been created by the designer users. I will be using the T code AS01, Create Asset Master Record, and will connect the script which I create with the data in this Excel spreadsheet. You may not be required to run AS01, but the process that I walk through can be used with the T codes that are relevant to your organization. Here from the starting screen process runner, I'm going to double click on New Transaction. From this new process pop-up, I enter AS01. If you have a custom T code, you can enter that here as well as the same process will work for custom as well as standard T codes. Now I'm going to click Start Recording, and now I log into any SAP system across my SAP landscape. Since you're entering data into SAP when creating a script, I definitely recommend you use a sandbox or quality environment to create and test your script. Later, when you want to run the script in production, you'll be able to pick from any SAP system and log in right from this same interface. Now after I put in my password, the SAP GUI pops up, and now I'm just gonna bring up my Excel spreadsheet in the background, makes it nice and easy to see my data. Put in my asset class here, company code. Now as I step through each of these screens, entering data in the relevant fields, Similar to an LSMW or SHDB, the recording technology of SAP records each of these screens that I navigate and also all of the fields that are on each of these screens. Here in the General tab, I'm just going to put in my asset description. And since I only have one field on this screen, now I'm going to go to the Time Dependent tab. Here I'm going to put in my Cost Center. And then I hit save to end the recording process. Now I'm going to bring up Process Runner. And here I'm automatically taken into what's called the Mapper tab of Process Runner. The Mapper tab of Process Runner is where I connect the recording that was just done with my data source. Process Runner has actually created an Excel template for me with one row of data, with the data mapped to these SAP fields. I have asset class coming from A, company code from B, asset description from C, and cost center from D. Now the mapping of these fields is what connects the script with the data. This Excel template, which my script is currently linked to, is called the iBook. This is an internal instance of Excel. And when I save this script file, this data and any data that I add to it will be in the script file. I can add data to the iBook by clicking on this iBook ribbon. From here, I'm not able to enter data into the iBook. However, since my data is coming from an external instance of Excel, I need to link this script with an external Excel file. So all that I need to do is from this drop down here, select Use External Excel File. Then I just find that particular file in my network or my hard drive. And now my external Excel file is linked with this script recording. And I just need to make sure that my fields are mapped properly. So here again, I have my asset class coming from column A, my company code from column B, my asset description from column C, and my cost center from column D. Now the great thing about Process Runner is that I can easily change and manipulate my script to match my Excel data layout. So let's say for example that my cost center was actually in column E. I can just simply do this drag and drop and that will immediately change my cost center to column E. I can continue to change the mapping in the same manner or if I don't want to use drag and drop, I can always type in my values. Also, if I need to make changes in the mapping type, from this drop down, 
I could select SAP to Excel, in which case the values would actually write from SAP to my Excel spreadsheet. I could do a fixed single value. Perhaps I want to put in something like a company code or a specific cost center, and I don't want my end user to have to input that data in the Excel spreadsheet. Just simply hard code in a value here. Or I could also select system value. I have a menu of several system values that I can choose from. And then the last mapping type, the Excel cell value, I could actually have the data come from one particular cell in Excel as opposed to an entire column. I'm going to change this back here. Again, make this my column A. Now also, if I want to add any fields that were on the screens that I navigated, I can go to this Add Fields. And from this pop-up, I can add any additional fields which were on the screens that I've navigated. So here I'm just selecting quantity and base unit of measure. You can see that this automatically maps for me. I just push this add all selected and now I've added these additional fields to my script. And then if I go to my file menu and select save as, I can save different versions of the script with the different mapping types. I'm just going to deactivate these fields that I added. Just going to put my finger on the control button, select both of these fields, push this deactivate rows. And now my script has returned to its original recording. And now that my mapping has been set up, I'm actually ready to run this script. So I'm going to go over to this home ribbon here. From here, I can select which data to upload by putting in a start row and an end row. And I'm just going to have my SAP messaging right to column E. So I'm going to type in column E here. I'll show you in a bit what this is for. Now I'm pressing the run button. I get this convenient pop-up that just lets me know that the process file needs to be saved before it can be executed. So I'm going to click yes here. Now I just simply save the script as a local file. I'm going to save it to this default Inawera process files folder as it'll make it nice and easy for me to find later. But if I wanted to, I could save it anywhere on my hard drive or network. Now I get prompted to log into SAP. And now my SAP messaging is writing to the Excel spreadsheet, writing to column E as I asked it to do so. My SAP return messaging shows that I was successfully able to create these assets in SAP. This video has just been a quick overview of how to create a basic transaction automation script. To learn more about the different run type features of Process Runner, including Test Run, please see our video, Run Automation Scripts with Process Runner. If you need further assistance with creating a more complex transaction automation script, please visit the Process Runner help website where you can find step-by-step -step tutorials for more advanced scripts, such as those able to automate the upload of multiple line item data. The website can be accessed directly from the help ribbon by clicking on any of these various links.